There's no secret that Toronto and the GTA has a housing affordability issue. Um, you hear me talk about it in so many of my videos, right? A lot of people come up to me and they say, hey, Trey, are prices going to come down? And if so, how much will they go down? The reality is, is that there are just so many people, right? There's so many people in the city of Toronto, in the GTA, um, and in Ontario, and there's a lot more people immigrating to these areas because it's just an awesome place to live. That's the only reason. Um, and that's why we had the average selling price be the 1.155 last month. There's so many people here and there's just not enough inventory. In 2022, when people ask me what's going to happen next year, I think that prices may be very stagnant or they may go up a little bit. Uh, the reason being is because the Bank of Canada has announced that they are going to be increasing interest rates. Um, and this will happen in the second or the third quarter, but this will factor into people's purchasing price and how much they can afford. Right now, the market is currently fueled by people wanting to take advantage of that low interest rate, right? Um, this includes investors, uh, first time home buyers who are transitioning from renting to making that first purchase. They saved up a lot of money and they want to get into the real estate market. And it also includes people just wanting to climb up the real estate property ladder. Now, the purpose of this video was to actually talk about the housing affordability issue that the city of Toronto and the GTA has and to tie it to an article that I read this morning. Um, it was a very interesting article. The article was titled, Toronto is getting 300 to 400 new affordable housing units, right? And the gist of it basically goes on to talk about how developers uh, in some circumstances, not all, are gonna be saving five to 10% of the units in there for affordable renting and purchasing options. These steps taken by the developers and the new condo projects will definitely help people get into the real estate market, which is what you wanna see and it's a great thing to happen, right? But for the buyers that are looking for the single family dwelling units um, and the detached homes in the freehold market, they will still see a lot of competition when they're going to make a purchase. You're gonna have multiple offer situations like we've seen uh, for a long time now. So that's something to keep note of. Um, but I also read an interesting article this morning in addition to this one that talked about the exclusionary zoning concept. And that is actually a factor on why we could have unattainable home prices right now. Exclusionary zoning basically means that certain actions are excluded in a community or a neighborhood, right? So you can't just wake up one morning and decide that you wanna change your detached home to a duplex or a triplex. To do so, you need to get a permit, right? Um, and this costs money and it could take quite a bit of time to get this stuff organized. So people in the industry have started discussing if we kind of loosen these guidelines a little bit and it was quicker for you to convert your dwelling, um, then you could rent out a portion of your home, making it more affordable. So these are just a couple options that could make houses more affordable in Ontario um, and more specifically in the GTA in Toronto. So I want to know what you all think about these concepts. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to myself or my colleague Carl folks with the folks team. Um, I hope you all are continuing to kill it. Remember to trust the process and fall in love with your journey.